Hello there YouTube. Today I come to you with another update on the water cooling kit. Uh, it is a mod that, well, I decided to make because lots of people were talking about heat creep that will happen eventually on this uh, tank that is uh, not being cooled by anything. Um, Although I have printed for 18 hours, no problems whatsoever, but well, maybe in time, if you really want to have a reliable printing experience, you might want to consider something like this. It's not installed yet. I had to get all these parts uh, one by one. Um, and well, the hose was separate. The adapters were separate. The fans were separate, the heat sinks were separate, the aluminium block itself was separate, so it's kind of um, bits and pieces put together. And I also have this uh, 3 to 1 uh, PVM PWM connector. Um, it is going to be turning on really slow uh, fan speed. Um, but that has a reason because this video is brought to you by PCBWay.com. PCBWay is a great website where you can get professional grade PCBs for a low cost. At PCBWay, you can find manufacturing capabilities like CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing, injection molding, and PCB manufacturing. Flawless quality, sky's the limit possibilities, and extraordinary services. All at PCBWay.com. Because this fairly cools it down pretty well. So this is kind of a, a little push. So there is some kind of heat exchange and that's the only purpose of it. So it doesn't have to turn on really fast speeds. It has no use for my use case. Um, but you can, well, if you want to install it and you want it to be the, the cooling coolant to run uh, really um, cool you can make the fans turn faster but for my case they will be turning really slow uh, it is three times 12 volts um, noise blocker fans which is really a good purchase because they were only about five dollars each which is 15 euros and if i had gotten noctua fans i would have paid for each one of them 15 dollars uh, so yeah, I had to make uh, the choice of getting the noise blockers and so far so good. They are well braided cables and everything. I like it for the price. I think it's a really good choice. So for the other side of the well, the cooling element here, not much to say about it. I put heat sinks on both sides of it. Um, I might change the configuration on this well remove the heat sinks maybe if this doesn't really work like this uh, but the website where i got it from aliexpress was saying that the heat sinks were sold separately so well i got from amazon these heat sinks and i put on both sides so there is no gap there is always a gap between the aluminum here and the heat sinks because it is full fully cut in between and I am I have been looking around where to install it actually and I found that if I would install it well just put it right uh, behind the the tank here it would be the most suitable place to to put it and I'll have to get from the output of the heat block here and connect to one of these hoses and the other side of the, the the output which is if i cut it here let's say one goes here and the other side of the cut goes here so it makes a loop here uh, from the heat it comes it makes a loop here which cools it a little down and then goes into the tanks input and then here it goes back to the heat block here the element uh, the um, on the print bed, uh, print head, I'm sorry, and then does the same thing again and again, and that's the way the loop uh, becomes a hole. 
and so i'll just start with the assembly of this because i think i have to drain this i was hoping that because there is a gap here i could just cut it and well put something in both sides but i'll see what i'll do um i most likely will drain it first and then make the installation so now the installation is completed as i said before i took the output of uh, the hot end from here and it comes through here i cut it here and it goes into the radiator and then it makes its loop and it's coming back out of the radiator and it's going to the input so it's coming here it's sitting here and the pump is pumping it back in through the other cable through the hot end um cooling's block and then going back the same route so as i said these fans will uh, are turning not fast really slow um but it is really silent as well it is um silent fans in general anyways um noise blocker is pretty silent even if turning on full speed but now it's just getting fitted by uh, by this usb and well i need to tidy these cables up uh, still but this is the roughly what it will look like so it will sit there and that is the way it's gonna look like so the setup didn't really change much it just has a bypass here and i hope this will make lots of you guys who are talking about the heat creep happy so they will be like okay there is a some sort of heat exchange so when the heat is being cooled down somewhere around the loop which is great but to, if i may be honest um do you really need this setup not sure um depends on the person i guess some people are going for the really safe route but if you're going for the really safe route then you wouldn't be installing water cooling anyways because guys let's be honest it will it could leak because there is coolant in here it could leak and <laughs> it is just a more risical factor on that you're adding up to your printer uh, but as i said i am 95 percent of the time around my printer when it's printing so it is not a big deal for me but i'm guessing there are some people who just leave their printer print for several days and it's impossible to be around your printer for several days and if that's the case then maybe you should reconsider getting a water cooling loop for your pre printer um i took this route because it's really silent it makes the printer like really 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 silent because i'm using the other the parts cooling fan is already a uh, noctua fan running through 12 volts and this one is disabled there is nothing inside of here um, so the only fans that i'm having is a noctua here uh silent fan as well here let me think what the name was uh, it's a silinctum a zipyrus that's in here and other than that noise blockers on this uh, radiator and the rest of the, of the components are have no f fans at all and well if you want if you're aiming for a really silent printer go for it if you're aiming for very reliable printer when you're not around it does it exist not sure but yeah you can well i guess you can try to make it as as reliable as possible but then don't go for a water cooling solution because it might leak and if it's leaking and your printer is is running and these electronic components don't go well with any coolant or whatever it will just really go bollocks on you sort of from a language but 
Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. And I want to shout out to all you guys who have been participating on the giveaway of the Raspberry Pi. It's still here, waiting for its winner. So, I wanted to say that lots of guys just um, hit the thumbs up and didn't comment on the video and only subscribed. You need to comment on the last video, so the video before this. I'll try to put it up here. Um, you have to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and put a comment uh, in the comment section because the the winner will be determined through the comment section. Um, we will just see, and we will also double check if that person has t hit the thumbs up and subscribed as well. So. <laughs> Don't forget to do it or you won't be able to win. Um, anyways, I hope I wish all you guys the best uh, luck and hopefully someone who really needs it will win it. Not that someone just wants to have one. <laughs> but if you want to make a real project with this, it would be lovely to, to have to give this to you and you can make a project like let's say something really useful or something for the community because lots of people aren't able to get one of these and it would be lovely to provide this to one of you guys anyways guys thank you for watching this video hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs up if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye